This is Mr. Orr with Lesson 2 of the Excel Spreadsheet. We're going to do a couple more things today, uh, one of which will be to add a title in here, another will be to multiply a column of numbers, uh, and the third thing we'll do is to sort uh, this list alphabetically. So let's start with just adding a title. It's very simple. Uh, I need to have an extra space up here, so I'm going to... Actually, I like a couple of them, so I'm going to make two additional rows. So I go over here to insert and I insert sheet rows. Now I can put a title in here and this we're going to call fruits and vegetables from ShopRite. All right, now notice that the title went across columns. So it didn't stop at the edge of column A. It kept going. Now if I wanted to edit it, I could just click on column A and the entire thing would come up even if it spilled over into additional columns. So let's say I wanted to highlight it, uh, let's say I wanted to put it in bold. Uh, all right, there we go. Now it's bold, let's say I also wanted to put it in italics. All right, now let's go over here to, let's say that the situation we have is that this is what we picked up for ourselves and our family, but we want to have a party. And we need five times the number of each of these items that we originally bought. So I'm going here to column D, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say equals. Now, in this case, this is column C, row 4. So I'm going to say equals C4 times, using the asterisk, 5. Now, this is what I get. It took column, it took, um, it took C4, and it multiplied it by 5, and it brought it over here into D. Now, I don't want to have to do that with every one of these uh, cells here. So I'm going to go back up here, and if I click on the corner of this, right over here in the corner, and I drag it down all the way to here, notice what happened. It took this one and it multiplied it by 5, this one times 5, this one times 5, etc. So as you can see, this one says C7 times 5. So it took this cell, multiplied it by 5 to give me this cell. That's great. Now I don't want to have to re-enter my formula. So I go here to the formula, I drag it to the right from the corner, moves over to here, and now I have a new total over here. All right, the next thing I want to do, we have two items accomplished here, let's now sort. Now, what I want to do is not just sort these items alphabetically, but I want the numbers that go with each one to stay with them. So I have to highlight all of this. Otherwise, now the totals will be all right, but otherwise, I would get apples with a new dollar amount and a new times five amount. I don't want to do that. I want apples to still be $3.45. I want strawberries to be four fifty-five. after I sort these alphabetically. So we do this. Now I go over here to data. And I look for sort, which is right here. All right. Now I'm going to sort by column A. And I'm going to sort on values, that means A, B, C, D in this case, and I'm going to sort A to Z. Starting with apples, I want to go all the way down to zucchini. All right, so I hit OK, and now you'll notice that everything's alphabetical and the strawberries are still $4.55, even though they're in a different location in my small grid here. Totals, of course, stayed the same, but now I have alphabetical order. All right, that's enough for today. Uh, I will see you next time.